don't need a high-end designer or a lot of money to get a luxe look. Be your own interior designer. This is Affordable Interior Design, the podcast. Here's your host, Betsy Hellman. Stacy's writing, and she says, could you please give me some ideas to upgrade my office at work? I'd like it to be more feminine, but still look like a professional office. I work at a nursing home. I'm not able to replace the desk, so I have to work with the cherry wood desk. I also have a coworker that works in the same office as me. She sits at the rolling table behind my desk. The filing cabinets have to stay, as well as the copy machine. I need something to hide all the clutter on the cabinets in the back, which is mainly office supplies. My style is minimal, so this office is driving me crazy. Oh my gosh, Stacey, this office would drive me crazy too. Boy, do I feel your pain because it's pretty cluttered. Now, I have solutions, don't you worry. But the first thing I want to address is this poor lady working with you. There is like, it looks like a TV tray that she's working on, a TV tray from like World War II. It's this gray, banged up metal. It's small. She's got this sad little notepad and water bottle. She really needs a more sufficient work surface. And it looks like she's working adjacent to this built-in. So, you know, you've got your main office, which looks to be pretty limited in space. So I don't think she could fit in that area with you based on what I'm seeing from these pictures. But then it opens up into this little storage space in the back that's separated by this kind of opening. And inside the opening is where you have the file cabinets, the copier, a lot of the supplies, most of the clutter, right? But then you do have this one section opposite the file cabinets that looks like it's a built-in desk that's just covered in clutter. But if you could kind of organize this a bit, um, could she work there instead to eliminate this super sad metal TV tray. And then the other thing I'd recommend is getting her a desk chair that can fully tuck under the desk because the armchairs that you're using now, these kind of red leather mahogany armchairs are so bulky and really would protrude if you tried to tuck it in under the desk. It even protrudes under this metal monstrosity. Then one thing I would recommend is you have things on the wall. Things like organizers, mail organizers, key holders, uh, calendars, cubbies, and they're just kind of slapped up there with seemingly no rhyme and reason and it adds to the visual clutter. And I find that those things don't really hold much anyway. Those little catch-alls that hang on the wall that are meant for mail or a file folder. I find that people don't use them efficiently If you can, I would eliminate that because that's just visual clutter. Speaking of visual clutter, in that file cabinet area, you do have some shelving. And on the shelving, you have loose paper, you have, looks like envelopes, binder clips. I would go to Home Goods or, you know, whatever, uh, TJ Maxx, and I would buy some nice baskets. Uh, forego the clear Tupperware. I don't want to see this stuff. I would get a series of nice baskets that are woven, ideally maybe with a little label, um, because a lot of them have like the little chalkboard labels, or you can even buy those separately on Amazon, and put some of this stuff in there. Because, you know, I understand when you're working at a place that you can't always change out the furniture, which would be my hope, right? Because these are banged up Again, looking like World War II file cabinets. Uh, Some of them are brown. One of them is off-white. And it's not a great look, but I would imagine you can't eliminate those or make them more cohesive. So I think baskets will certainly help. The other thing you got to do is just reduce some of this clutter. I mean, I'm seeing some seasonal decor that could perhaps go or be stored in a different way. So I think organizing this before you think about adding anything else would be key. Now, the other thing I would do 
because back there in that little cubby, it is such an eyesore, let's be clear. And there's things that we can do in terms of baskets and decluttering that can help, but it's never gonna make that copier and those file cabinets look good. So I would put some drapes. I would hang a rod on the outside of this opening and I would have two tie backs with some double wide drapes that are a beautiful pattern, a playful color, anything to enliven this very drab windowless room. And I would have the drapes so that they can close when your colleague is not there or when say she wants privacy, but then you can swag them back when you want to access that copier with ease or when you want to talk to your colleague. So that way you can choose how much of it you want to see. And I do think the color pattern texture from those double wide drapes will really help the space. Now you're going to have a very limited selection when you go and search double wide drapes. I'm looking at my crystal ball and I can tell you that right now. So what you'll want to do is probably get single wide drapes and have them stitched together at your local dry cleaner. It's very affordable, quick and easy. And then you can pick from any number of patterns. You'll get two sets of two, have each set of two stitched together. So it makes two double wide panels, hang a rod outside again with that tie back and you're good to go. Just make sure it's a grommet ring on the panel because I want you to be able to slide these back and forth with ease, okay? So there we go. I think I've solved most of your problems and really your main problem is decluttering. Decluttering, getting rid of what you can, taking stuff off the wall, and the drapes are going to hide a multitude of sins. All right, Stacy, let us know how it goes. A big thank you to Aton and the Embassy who wrote our theme song. A shout out to Catherine Heller who owns the podcast shop and is our editor extraordinaire. We also want to thank Jenny Sunnison and her team at the Savvy Podcast Agency for their help with our social, our YouTube channel, and so much more. We also want to thank Uploft, which is our parent company who supports this podcast. And lastly, we owe a huge debt of gratitude to you. Thank you so much for tuning in and for all your support. <music>